We are going out to explore all that Koh Lanta has to offer. We're gonna go to the beach, we're gonna walk around the streets, and just see what else we can find here. Our first very brief stop was going to the reception desk to book a dive for one of our upcoming videos. Really excited about that. We just love diving now. The thing to do here in Koh Lanta seems like, well, renting motorbikes. They are everywhere. Like, we have, we've seen a lot of motorbikes, but this is definitely the most we've seen. Nobody's driving cars or anything. There's really nobody walking. Everyone's riding motorbikes. We actually have some right here that we can rent from our hotel, but we're not going to because we're just gonna walk around. But it's very interesting. If you like motorbiking, Koh Lanta is the place for you. Here is our hotel right here, and then up that way is just a lot of mountains and greenery. There's a little hostel right here. The other way down this street is where all the rest restaurants, where 7-Eleven is, where the beach is, so we are gonna head down that way. We were shocked at the size of Koh Lanta. We were coming from Koh Phi Phi, which is a little tiny island that had no motorbikes, no cars at all. We just walked everywhere. And then when we arrived here, it took us half an hour just to get from the pier to our hotel. And there's a motorbike passing by us right now. We just like, we're not expecting it. We're like, this place is huge. So we're just walking to as many places as possible. So many motorbikes. <laughs> Of course we have to make a stop at 7-Eleven to get Jenny a coffee. The best coffee in Thailand. And the best air conditioning in Thailand. There's so many food stands and fruit shake stands. This is amazing. I honestly think that this little street is my favorite town so far that we've been in Thailand because it's busy enough that there's lots of food and street food and restaurants and shakes and coffee, but it's quiet enough that it's not like super overwhelming or too busy. This is amazing. I love it here. I think we've been totally missing out by not discovering this place sooner, at least this like little street because we've just been eating in a lot of restaurants and like that's fine too because you get to sit down and enjoy your meal but I really like street food at least when I'm getting like some snacks or even like more full meals might have to get some of that today so many pretty flowers here in Koh Lanta this whole street is just flowers and then there's pink ones down there oh I love this wow I've never seen this color of this flower before oh I love it so much so often they have the call to prayer. I believe that is Muslim. It is so fascinating that we are in Thailand, but Jacob said there is a mosque over there, so that's why they are saying the call to prayer, which is super fascinating. I believe most Thai people are Buddhist, but I do think there is a large population of Muslims here on this island specifically because we have been seeing a lot of halal food as well. It is always good to know when you're in a new place where the closest clinic is just in case an emergency happens so now we know I'm gonna say over 20% of all businesses are selling gasoline on the street whether it's just like a little stand with some gasoline in the bottles or there's just like a one pump gas station I really didn't understand it at first but now I'm thinking like because there's all these motorbikes everywhere people can run out of gas at any point and so it's definitely nice to just be like oh there's some cheap gasoline right on the side. Let me just fill up real quick. I will say walking here is a little bit difficult because there's not really any sidewalks and there's so many people on motorbikes that you're constantly like dodging them. Is it possible to do a Nutella and banana? We saw a stand on the side of the road that was selling pancakes with bananas and Nutella and all these other different items. Pancake, I don't know if it's exactly gonna be like a pancake that we're used to, but we just decided we're gonna go for it. It was only gonna be probably around 50 baht, so like a dollar fifty. We think we're getting banana and Nutella in our pancake, but there was kind of a language barrier there. Pretty much our fault for not knowing enough Thai to communicate properly. So we'll just see what we get. It also came with a baby chicken on the table. <laughs> Hey, 
as you can see, there is Nutella on there, and I am 60 to 70% confident that there's bananas in here also. There is right there. Well, there we go. We did it. And it costs 50 baht, so yeah, like a dollar fifty. Got it on my little stick. Mmm. I really like that. Yeah, it's not really a pancake. It's almost kind of like a crepe, like because of how thin it is. Like, it's more like a crepe than a pancake that way. Yeah, it tastes more like a crepe. It's more like crispy. It's really good. And now we are off to the beach because we need to jump in the water to cool down because it is toasty out here. I'm a little bit nervous about the food that we just ate because the lady was like picking up the chickens and moving them and then cooking our food. I'm sure if we saw a lot of what happens behind the scenes at any food place that we would eat, it would be kind of weird, but that was, I feel a little nervous. And yeah, maybe we did do things a little bit different. We had dessert first and now we're gonna get some lunch, but you know, I just wanted to stop by that stand. It looked like that lady was really nice and so we just went for it. If you do have a little bit more of a budget and want to stay directly on the beach, there's plenty of beautiful hotels like this one that are directly on the beach. This one looks like it has a restaurant and some yoga classes too. We made it to the beach where we found this cute little restaurant and we sat down and we ordered some food. I got some fried noodles with chili and basil and Jacob got a burger and fries. We're gonna split half and half so we get a little American food and a little Thai food. After this, we're gonna run into the water and hang out on the beach. I love that it's like not super crowded. It's just very chill. There's tons of green mountains around us. It is lovely. We got the fried noodle first and it looks delicious. And I see some of these really spicy peppers in it. Good. One of the best noodles we've had so far. Oh, I love the peppers in it. We have this corn in there that we're not used to seeing in a lot of our Thai dishes. Yeah, very true. Jacob's gonna show us his chopstick skills. Looks like they're Japanese chopsticks. They got the nice plastic texture. There we go. I'm not great with chopsticks, but I can make it work. Mmm, that is good. We're almost done with the noodles, actually. They are very good. And the burger just arrived. We got this with some fries. And I believe this is mayonnaise, beef burger with cheese, mayonnaise, onions, tomatoes, lettuce. Bun is crispy too. I don't really think this <clears throat> region of the world is known for their beef, but I mean, still doesn't mean that they can't make a good burger. All of a sudden it got so stormy and these giant like coconut things just fell down on our table and thank goodness it didn't fall on our heads. It was close though. Looks like a storm is definitely coming our way just as we were about to get in the water. I was a big fan of that restaurant. They didn't have like the best food ever, but the prices were very affordable, especially for being right on the beach. <laughs> and yeah, like Jenny, you said earlier, we we're just putting on sunscreen and then all of a sudden like, bam, right on our table. And so just, uh, just a few inches from <laughs> our camera and also a few inches from our heads. Not exactly sure what the restaurant is called, but the bar is called Why Not Bar. It's right next to the beach and Bamboo Bay. It is so nice here. It was pretty hot and then the clouds rolled in. I think it's because uh, right behind us is the rainforest. Oh my gosh, there's monkeys over here. What the heck, do you see them? Whoa. There's tons of them. There's a lot. I see at least four or five over there. <gasps> no, there's like 10. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. There is like so many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, at least, at least 12. I wonder what kind of monkeys they are. Yeah, they're not like too big. This guy just pushed that giant rock over. Wait, no way. Yeah. How heavy do you think that rock is? I think it must not be very heavy. There is so many of them. Oh, there's babies. Actually. It must be like styrofoam. Yeah, I was gonna say that kind of looks like styrofoam. Before we came to Koh Lanta, we were in Koh Phi Phi, another one of the islands here in Thailand, and we went to a place called Monkey Beach, hoping to find some monkeys. That did not happen. We were docked our boat and we were there for about 10 to 20 minutes, didn't see any, and now we're just 
came over here and there they are. I'm so happy we found them. It's just fun watching them play around. I just cannot believe how many there are. I have a new count of 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Jacob, nine, 10, 11, 12, Jacob. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. This one is getting really close. Oh no, they're fighting. Weird noises. They're like fighting over there. This one was getting dangerously close to us, but now it's walking away, so it's okay. I've been calling this place Bamboo Bay, but it actually has another name. It's Katyang Bay. I don't know what the chances are of actually seeing monkeys if you come here, but we were surprised by them. I am so excited to just like stay here and watch them. Like this is just nature. I mean, we could just be relaxing on the beach, having a good time, but I think it's even better that we get to see the monkeys and just observe whatever they're doing. Just another reason to love this beach. There's hardly any people here. We have this beautiful forest behind us and now we get a little wildlife show. New development. What these, are these people, people are going right up next to the monkeys. That's not a good idea. They're gonna scare them away. I don't, yeah, they're either like gonna scare them away or they're gonna get attacked by monkeys. All these monkeys just charge these oh people. The monkeys are attacking them now. After I got bit by a monkey in the Amazon rainforest, I'm staying very, very far away from these ones. I wanna give them their space and let them do their thing and I don't really wanna get bit again. We spent a lot of time watching those monkeys hanging out on the beach, but now it is time for a swim. The water didn't look very clear back there, but now that we're in it, it's actually pretty clear. Oh, there's a jellyfish. No, that's, is that a jellyfish? Oh my gosh, there's a jellyfish. Oh, look at that. Oh gosh. Whoa. Oh man, that, I'm kind of glad we're not in the water right now. Jacob just informed me that he didn't know this was a jellyfish before and those are his toe prints. Is it dead? Cause it's just sitting there in the beach? Yeah, I think it's dead. That other one was dead too, I think. Oh, that's sad. Wow, this beach is filled with wildlife. So far we've seen a pack of monkeys, like three crabs, and now we've seen jellyfish. Okay, there's the crab. Oh, oh look no. at it. Did I get it? Wait, that's the cutest little crab I've ever seen. I think crabs are scared of humans. They I definitely are. I think that's a thing. Look at it. It blends in so perfectly with the sand. Look at its little eyes. It's letting me get really close. Maybe he knows I won't hurt him. So far we've seen five massive jellyfish. We're gonna go swimming. I am definitely not getting in the water. Look at how massive that thing is. What? Wow. That's like the fifth one that we've seen. This is legitimately the eighth jellyfish that we've seen so far. And there's one right there just about to get washed up. Ah, this is insane. There is so many. Well, that was an experience. We thought we were gonna be swimming in the ocean the whole time, but instead we got monkeys, crabs, and jellyfish. It was really cool, just not what we were anticipating. We are walking back to the hotel right now to go swimming. And we were just down there at the beach right there. 